Hi guys, Mike here again. Hey, just want to um, finish up these thoughts on <laughs> revival. Although you start getting a revival Bible or something, you'll be there forever. Um, but Acts chapter 19 verses 11 to 20 tells a story of Paul in Ephesus. Um, I'm not going to major on it, but I just want to talk about that for a moment. So Paul finally gets to Ephesus and he has an amazing impact, so much so that even his handkerchiefs and um, things that he touches actually bring healing to people. And sometimes we read something like this and we think, well, you know, I want to be able to operate in this type of spirit and have revival. But remember, this is probably 20 years after Paul got saved. He, um, he got converted. He went to Damascus. He was uh, away for three years in Arabia before he tried to come to Jerusalem and uh, connect with the brothers. And of course, they didn't want to know about him. We know this guy. We've heard about this guy, Paul. And it was Barnabas who introduced him. Then he goes down to Tarsus and he goes to Syria and so on and so forth. Um, and then he spends a long time in Antioch. Um, and it was in Antioch that the word Christians was introduced. So uh, he then does his first missionary journey. Um, he then comes back to the Jerusalem Council and the other guys. Um, and then he does another trip and then he ends up in Antioch again. And he does his third uh, missionary journey and that's three years in Ephesus um, so this is 20 odd years afterwards and sometimes as believers we we read about revival the Welsh revival or Azusa Street or um, uh, the Hebrides revival um, I've been there and that's an amazing um, story in itself um, and we think oh, I want that but are you prepared to wait 20 years? Are you prepared to go into Arabia for three years and just speak to God and let God speak to you and to deal with stuff in your life? Forgiveness. Remember what Paul had done. He had, he had witnessed people and he had essentially murdered people um, by tipping off the authorities where they were. And yet 20 years later, he sees revival break out. So that's the challenge for you today. You want revival? You're prepared to wait for it? You're prepared to pray for it? Hope is alive. Hope has a name. Hope's name is Jesus. I'll wrap up this revival one next time around. Cheers. Bye.